Welcome to the Middle Room Workshop. Today I am going to show you how to safely home your machine and what are the functionalities of the button on the main board. Without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, this is a kind of follow-up from my video where I discussed about uh, the damage to my laser module and the possible causes. Afterward, I've gotten plenty of comments and suggestions on how uh, the axis could be safely homed. Now, uh, if you're using any one of the uh, Nigel machines, you might have noticed on the back side a button. It might not be so evident, but there is basically a red dot just next to the uh, USB cable and that's actually a button. So through this button we can actually uh, perform several tasks with the machine among which we can pause engravings and we can also home the machine if we need to. Now if you're using your uh, Ninja desktop application the software will automatically home the machine for you upon completion of the project. However, if you're using other softwares like the Laser GRBL, or for instance, you've been discarding or aborting your project uh, while it was in progress, you might end up with the machine freezing uh, at the coordinate where it was last engraving. So, Regardless on what, the, what has been the reason that uh, the machine didn't home, uh, there is a way using that button to basically safely allow the machine to automatically go back to the 0, 0, 0,0 coordinate or this is the home of the machine. So to do this, you will basically uh, click once the button, the red button on the back side of the machine or on the back side of the main board and this will basically bring back the axis to the zero position where uh, micro switches will basically act as a limiter and will prevent the stepper motor from uh, overdriving uh, the machine. Now this button uh, actually um, perform other functions and the type of functions that it performs depends on what are what is the current condition of the machine or in other words what is the machine doing at the moment when the button are being pressed now if the machine is actually working that means is engraving some project a single push will basically pause the machine from the engraving job and pushing once again will resume the project. Uh, if you hold down the button instead, you will abort the uh, project itself. However, uh, for some reason there is no way, at least not through the button, to home back the axis. So in order to, to do that, you will basically need to power down the machine by unplugging it from the uh, power supply, just removing the uh, jack of the cable on the back side and then plug it back in then you can basically push the button once and will the machine will go back to home now if you are with the machine on not engraving so you're in a normal uh, condition let's say for instance you plug the power and the axis weren't uh, homed um, so the, the first click will basically bring back the access to home and that's something that we have already seen. If you clicked once again, will basically take the machine uh, to the latest engraved position and will outline or frame the latest engraved project. If you push the button once again, the machine will actually start engraving. So that means that there is some memory in the board, in the main board, and it's basically storing and remembering the last engraved project. Now, I'm not sure about 
uh, the limitation of that. Um, I've been trying with several projects with also some high uh, complexity and it seems like remembering it all. However, I was looking up on the web to the specification, to the data sheet of the microprocessor which is in the board and it seems like um, the, the microsips has uh, 64 kilobytes of flash memory so I believe that um, that memory will be in part used for the program uh, to run but in part will also be used for the actual project to be sent to the machine so I believe that as long as the size of the project is smaller than the shared memory within the microprocessor it will basically store that information and it's basically able to replicate the engraving or cutting project as many times as you like until obviously uh, the shared memory is not overwritten by a newly loaded project. Uh, I might say however that I've noticed this behavior only uh, for projects that have been uh, launched using the Nege desktop application the um, project launched with other softwares including the laser GRBL are actually not um, stored and that's because uh, in the main board there is another SIP uh, for that purpose to work with laser GRBL um, so uh, if you hold down the button the machine will basically power down now Technically, the laser goes off, but you will uh, notice the LID on top of the laser module that will continue to breathe. So I wouldn't that personally call it like power down state. I think it's some kind of hibernation state. I don't know why they actually have chosen to uh, let it work it in this way. But I personally uh, unplug the machine when I'm done with it and I actually recommend to do that because it is pointless uh, to have this uh, basically laser to go on and off or in some kind of briefing mode and these are basically all of the functionalities of the button on the back side of the machine alright so I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you found the video helpful um, if you have any comment leave them below and if you liked it click the thumb up button below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more video like this one ciao for now